Hey everybody, this is Jerry again with Just One More. So as promised, we're going to be doing a technical series uh, based upon getting ready to hit the road. We have four, three pages of double-sided that are laminated of our um, preps, 24 hours, 12 hours, and the morning of. Uh, it's all about safety. It's all about um, being ready to hit the road. Uh, I double check. Susan double checks and we always find something that we skip. There's a big note here that says secure all cargo. Notes on here are because we've experienced some issues where we didn't secure all the cargo. So we've, we're learning as we're rolling. So one of the first things we do is we uh, look at the uh, manufacturer specifications and recommendations for the, the lug nut uh, torque setting. So I get my torque wrench out, proper socket. And then I go around <clears throat> as per the recommendation by the manufacturer and I torque um, the lug nuts. It's not not that hard. You just go around in a certain pattern and you're done. So the next step is to check your air pressure. Uh, you want to do this when the tires are cold because uh, as the tires hit the road they're going to warm up and the pressure is going to rise. So the cold pressure that you want to check and inflate to that is based upon what the manufacturer recommends and it's right on your the, the door on the driver's side and it tells you the rear dually pressure and the front tire pressure and we always check that and I fill it up to that pressure um, pretty straightforward pretty simple and it's pretty easy to do hey gang having fun underneath the fifth wheel match nice and cozy underneath here wiping off the old grease getting ready to grease these fittings they're called wet bolts Keeps things lubed and rocking and rolling back and forth nice and smooth. They're pushing out that old grease, just making a big old mess and having all kinds of fun. But too much grease is better than no grease. That's what I've always said. So I'm getting ready to leave Courtside, Arizona. We're actually in Brenda, but we're getting ready to leave Arizona. And I wanted to let you know what I do to get ready. So if you see behind me, my desk, the printer's already on the ground underneath the desk. And all of this will be taken down and put underneath the desk so I can make sure that nothing gets broken. That's a very big deal. And then if you look behind me, I have, that's a glass. This is actually glass. So there's a little lever under here, if you can see that that I have to make sure is secure. And then also on my desk, if you can see, yeah, let's go down here. These are little hooks. You can see that? They're little hooks. So I make sure that every single hook is hooked on because again, when we're in this thing, it's an earthquake. So we wanna make sure nothing falls out in the living room. And then over on here, I have put everything that's on the floor onto the couch. And then what happens with this desk or this table, that gets moved in the middle. Now we're in the kitchen. So everything that's on the counter over here, that's all gonna come down. Again, this is a slide, so it comes in. We have to make sure that nothing's on there. I've already put the Instapot on the ground, which is right there, um, which makes it secure. And then we strap these chairs down as well. So that makes a big difference. And then over here, the stove, there's really not much to do here, but here in the refrigerator, I have to make sure that this is latched. And then I have to make sure that this is latched on the freezer because things fall out of the refrigerator. I've seen and heard some horrible stories. I move everything that's heavy down to the bottom of the refrigerator. So when I open, when we, when we get somewhere, I open slowly to make sure that nothing is gonna fall out. The other thing is I've secured this basket and this basket over here with what we call nano tape because it really keeps everything down. I even did my paper towel holder, which is really kind of cool. So that makes a big difference. And then what I do is I take baby hooks and secure them on the baby hooks and secure them 
on all the cabinets to make sure that the cabinets don't open and things go tumbling out. It's pretty crazy. And then down here, I have my wine. So I'm getting ready to get all that secure as well so that doesn't break. I usually wrap it in a towel really tightly. Um, and that's pretty much the kitchen. In the bathroom, you can see this is a glass shower. So there's a hook here that I have to make sure that when we leave, we hook that so it doesn't go sliding because I've also heard that people have parked and it's been shattered. Why they put a glass, I don't know, because it's also the hardest freaking thing to clean. The other thing that's important, and I'm gonna turn around here, is everything that's on my counter in the, in the bathroom has to go either in the sink or it has to go in the shower. That all has to be removed from, the, from here because it's gonna end up falling on the floor. So everything gets moved off. Then we're gonna walk into the bedroom and everything that's on the dresser gets put on the bed. Now I've also used nano tape on this box for Jerry. This is his stuff. So that stays there. The other thing about the closet, if you look at the closet, there is a hook right here that you gotta make sure that you close it all the way because again, glass, and make sure that that doesn't go anywhere. So there's just a lot of little things that need to be done just to make sure that nothing falls, nothing breaks, everything is secure. It makes a big difference when we arrive and open up the, the slides and we always take a big sigh of relief <laughs> if things are where they're supposed to be. So that's uh, a, a few major things that I do in the morning, especially. I've already started doing stuff, but it, it's in the morning that makes the difference. It's travel day. We are starting the trip to Indiana and we have a stopover in Coda Mills, Texas tonight. So anyway, we're getting ready and this is what we do in the living room. Jerry is closing up the bedroom slide right now and I am closing up the kitchen. And thank you. I got to get the see this is things that we have to do with each other. I've got to get the rug moved out of the way. And then this is when I put baby hooks on all of the cabinets to make sure everything is in the sink. So this is uh, the start of our taking off today. It's a beautiful day. All right, so all the hooks are done on every single cabinet in the kitchen, as you can see there. And then, this is the most important, honestly, is making sure that the freezer and the refrigerator is done as well. So then, gotta make sure we have our water bottles. Super important. Lots of the hydration on the road. As you can see, it is a very, very, very sunny day out. And we are ready to rock and roll and put the rest of the slides in. I'll show you the bedroom because that's pretty amazing. Jerry just did the bedroom. But we're gonna, we're gonna see how the, put just one more sign, but see how the bed goes right up to the dresser. And this is all in. Pretty crazy, huh? The bathroom's all done. We have to make sure that that latch is done and the bathroom, the shower door latch is done and everything's off the counter. So we're ready to rock and roll. The next job is to make sure that all these doors are locked, which when it goes up and down like this, they're locked. And I had to make sure that every single one of them is done. And then of course we also check the brake lights and all that stuff. So I'm just checking to make sure they're all done. Yep. Okay, except for this one, because Jerry's still doing his thing with hooking up the truck with the hitch. This is always the fun part, is hick, hitching, hicking, hitching up. And Jerry is getting so incredibly good at it. So now what he does is he backs up 
to get the hitch in the truck with the pin. Here he goes. toy that Jerry got that's so cool but is nice it's a little step because it's really it's really high to get in there so this is from Roger Jerry's all excited so it hangs right over the obviously the tire and it makes it easy for him to get in there now what we do is a pull test to make sure that the hitch is hitched and that uh, it won't come off so all Jerry does is pull up a little bit there we go we're good. Excellent. One of the very important things that we have to do is check the lights to make sure they're flashing. And I give Jerry the thumbs up to make sure that they're flashing. Brakes. And there's the brakes. Good job. That's super important, everyone, because Obviously, if they can't see us stopping or braking or whatever, it's very scary. So, we're ready to go. All Jerry has to do is put that electricity away and we're rolling out. <laughs> 